Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So it's that time of year where you need to make sure to submit your self-assessment so that you are not audited for sure for your portfolio or to take the quality assurance exam. So you do have until the end of January to fill out your self-assessment. Do it now. After the video, do it right now because trust me, you will forget. If you forget, even if you're a day late, you are automatically audited. So it's something very simple we have to do. Just fill it out and the CDHO is happy. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let me just share my screen here. So once you log in, you need to go to your smile portal, and it will open up such as this. So if you guys look on the upper left hand side, do you see this um, option here where it says self assessment year 2021 status complete. I have already filled it out. So that's why my status says complete. If yours does not say complete, you need to fill it out. So how do you do that? You would go down to where it says dashboard and click on um, verif um, verify employment status and practice addresses. So click on that and it will take you to another screen where you need to verify where you work. If you are in more than one area, you will have to um, put in all of the offices that you work in, okay? Um, sorry, the internet's just really slow right now. So once you fill all of that out, I'm just gonna reshare my screen because the internet's really slow. Um, once you fill that out, um, then you need to fill out your self-assessment. So you, you would just click self-assessment, it will pop up. Um, I can't remember if you have to click your practice type. I've already submitted mine, so it might just pop up for you automatically. But if you see something like this, you would just click wherever it tells you to, pretty self-explanatory, and then fill out your self-assessment, okay? Your self-assessment has nothing to do with right answers, wrong answers. It just wants you to be aware of what you should be doing. You would say whether you have met the standard partially you do not meet or it does not apply. That simple. If you guys notice, I don't meet every single standard as an example. Um, where it says, I seek opportunities to participate in mentorships. I said, I partially meet this. I said that because I mentor students all the time, but not with the CDHO program. There's an actual program that you can become a mentor with the CDHO. Um, I don't do that because um, you have to devote a certain amount of hours that I just simply can't. But I would not say that I have met this standard because I simply haven't. Um, so that's why I say I partially have met it. For most of them, I have met because as a hygienist, I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but just go through everything and click all of that. Notice how the mentorship where I said I partially met, it does um, generate a suggested um, goal for me. So that means if you were to do your uh, portfolio, you should have something like this as your goal because if you said you had partially met this. So that's all that means. Um, a lot of um, dental hygienists asks me, um, ask me what that means. It just means if you wanted to use that as a goal, they've done the work for you and formulated a goal for you. So please make sure to fill this out, you guys, and click save at the bottom. Um, as you can see, I don't have that option because I've already filled mine out. Make sure up here it says complete after you fill everything out because sometimes that just means if it doesn't say complete, it could just mean you haven't clicked save somewhere or something happened. It must say complete for it to go through. So good luck, you guys. Please just fill it out now. Otherwise, you will forget. It happens so often. If you forget, you are automatically audited. Nobody wants to be audited automatically. Thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year, by the way. It's January 1st, and I will see you guys in the next video.